Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to this 10 minute evening yoga class. Whatever is going on on the day, during the day, we are going to release all of that in this evening class and just take some time to ease down and wind down. So come into a comfortable seated position. Do get any bits and pieces you may need, any blocks or bricks, uh, any blankets. And then take an inhale to sit tall. And exhale, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Good. And on the next exhale, gently drop the head and take a few moments to tune in, check in with yourself. And just observe how you're feeling in this moment before we get the day out of the system. And then take a deeper breath in and exhale and gently open the eyes. From here, release the hands down, inhale. On the exhale, turning to your right side, nice easy spinal twist. But then inhale, lengthen. Exhale and glide the head back to center. And keep the body in the twist, good breathing. You may glide the head towards the left shoulder if you wish, if you wish to bring in a gentle neck release, squeeze the pelvic floor. Good, and then inhale, bring everything back to center, exhale. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, nice and easy, over to the left side. Inhale. Exhale, glide the head back to center. And just feel the sensations, breathe into them. And again, if you wish to, on the exhale, glide the head towards the right shoulder. I'm trying to soften into any discomfort you can feel. Know that this discomfort gradually will soften. And then inhale as you bring everything back to center and exhale. So from here, coming through to an all fours position, I'm going to release the hamstrings from this position. As you come to tabletop, know that you can have the hands underneath, uh, on top of a couple of bricks if you wish, or you can have the hands directly onto the mat. Gives you a little bit more elevation. Tuck the tailbone out as a slightly squeeze the pelvic floor, and then inhale, stretch the left leg back, keep the toes tucked under, and exhale, just begin to rock back gently into the calf tissue. Keep the back of the neck low and draw the shoulders back away from the ears. Good. Now, if you wish to, an option is to hold that stretch and gently draw the kneecap in, but without locking the knee. And we can turn this into another stretch. You can square the back heel down to the back of the mat, press it into the right hand, and on the inhale, float the left arm up, arriving in Ardha Basisdasana or a half plank pose. If this is too much on the wrist, you know you could always bring your forearm down as an alternative down to the mat. Good, if you feel wobbly, then just step that back foot further forward, no problem, it can be a wobbly pose. And again, just choose your gaze point. If you want more of a release through the shoulder, you may begin to press gently the back of the hand back, but don't force that, just until you feel kind of a tenderness arrive in the front of the shoulder, you can feel a nice release. Good, breathing, and come back to neutral. Exhale, bring the arm down. So then square the hips back to the floor. Inhale, stretch the right leg back. Exhale, and again, begin the rocking action this time into the calf tissue. So if you've been sitting a lot today or driving, running around, just doing some gentle stretches. Kind of regroup, let go of the day. You can really enjoy the evening. Again, you can press back into the heel and just hold that stretch. Gently drawing the kneecap in. That says stay anchored to the breath. Turn around so I can still see you. And just take one more breath like that. Good. And then from here, square the back heel to the back of the mat. Press into the left hand and inhale, lift the right arm up. Now, if this felt too much, you could always bring the hands to the hip or you can bring the forearm down, no problem. And this feeling opening in the side body. Take the foot forward if you need a little bit of more support in terms of the balance. 
And if you wish to only exhale, you may just float the arm gently back into space until you feel a bit more open into the shoulder. Often we're kind of typing, moving forward, writing. So it's really good to open out in the evening and just to restore some equilibrium. So then inhale, bring the arm back to neutral. Exhale, bring the arm down, come back to that all fours position. Now from here, inhale, tuck the toes under. You can stay on the bricks or on the floor, your choice. And exhale, walk the feet beyond hip distance, so maybe as wide as your mat as you come to a wide angle down the dog. Let the head dangle. No, this is too much of an ask. You can have the hands on the back of a chair and do your stretch from there. Breathing and feeling. Good, and then from here, inhale, carefully bringing the knees down. We're coming to a seated position. We're coming to seated however is best as you pop your bricks over to one side. Just stretch the legs out in front of you. Come to Dandasana or staff pose. Make sure the sitting bones are equally down and just sit tall. That's it. Press into the heels of the hands. Exhale, release the chin towards the chest. And again, just feel the gentle neck release. And then inhale, lift through the crown of the head and exhale, soften the wrists. You might just press the back of the wrists into the floor or into the top of the thighs, depending on where you can get to. Just give the fingers a little wiggle. That's it. We're moving now to Arva Magsandrasana or Half Lord of the Fishes Pose. It's a really nice twist to do at the end of the day, some of my favorites. So on the inhale, bending in the right knee, just take hold of the back of the right knee. Active toes of the left foot and bring the right hand back behind you. Again, no, you can always bring your hands to rest on a brick just to level off your shoulders. That's it. Now from here, hook the left forearm, wrist or elbow around the shin. And just soften for a moment. And then inhale, lift to the right side. So you emerge in a twist, kind of scoop the knee forward. Use a little bit more traction into the twist. And again, you can bring the hand to a brick or to the floor. You can look straight ahead or you can glide the head to look towards the shoulder. Squeeze the pelvic floor as you breathe. Sit as tall as you can, that's it. Really push out of those sitting bones. And tuck the lower abdominals in. And then inhale as you glide back to center and exhale to release. Sliding out the right leg, we'll change sides. I'll just spin around and still see you. Working into our seated twist from the opposite side, the left knee bends. Active toes of the right foot. Place the left hand back behind you on a brick or on the mat. From here, right forearm comes into the shin. You can drop the forehead, soften for a breath. And then squeeze the pelvic floor, draw the lower abdominals in and inhale, lift. So scoop that knee forward. That's it. Make sure your shoulders are level as you lift through the crown of the head. Exhale, either look to the side or again, glide the head to look towards the shoulder as you breathe. Allowing that twist to emerge. And then inhale as you glide the head back to center. Exhale, unravel the twist. From here, make your way onto your back. You might support your head with one of your bricks or blocks. And as you come in, draw the knees in immediately into Apanasana. You can take the shins or the backs of the thighs and just have a gentle rock from side to side. Relax the shoulders, relax the jawline. From here, inhale, come to center. Exhale, come into half laughing baby. You might be able to take the feet, the ankles, the shins, the back of the thighs, wherever you can get to is fine. Draw the toes back and draw the knees towards the armpits. And just feel that nice spaciousness through the lower body. This is good if you've been sitting or kind of in a confined space most of the day or the same position, it just opens everything up. Good, you can rock from side to side there if you wish, that feels good. And just beginning to wind down. So then from here, we'll come to Viparita Karani. So on the inhale, you just float the legs up towards the ceiling. This means legs in the air pose. It might be that you bend the knees. This might be a big ask in holding the legs. So you might bring the feet down, bring your hands underneath the lower back just for a bit more support and then float the legs up into space. 
So choosing the best option for yourself. And again, this reversal of gravity, really good. Before triggering the rest and digest response in the body. You may even feel a bit sleepier as you arrive here, allow the eyes to close. And just follow the feel good. You might bring some twizzles to the ankles, your little twists and turns. You might move the legs wider or together and just see what feels good. And then inhale, carefully draw the knees into the belly. Exhale, extend the legs out, either semi-supine with the feet on the floor. You can extend all the way out into Shavasana. See why I just take a deep breath. Breathe out through the mouth. You might do this again. Big inhale. Exhale. With the eyes closed, just to take a few moments to absorb the practice. Maybe observing any shifts as we let go of the day with this evening yoga practice. And then inhale, bending the knees and the elbows, draw the knees in for a squeeze, and then roll to one side and pause for a moment. And then just press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. We're ready to close our practice. Again, make sure that you can sit comfortably, sitting up on a break, do what's best for you. As you arrive, lengthen the spine, lift the heart space, bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Good, take a breath in, exhale, namaste. We're wishing you a peaceful and relaxing evening and I hope to see you on the mat very soon. Take care.